What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Edge Animate. So let's get to the changes. Over here we have guides. We have this with the other Adobe software and it makes it a lot easier to work with layouts. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, Illustrator, you know, you could just take these guides and just add them and remove them as you want. And then let's come over here to one of the best new features in Edge. And that includes making your projects friendly across different devices. That includes smartphones, tablets, laptops, and your traditional desktop computer. But let's come over here to the left-hand side and we see the stage is set at pixels. And I'm going to click on the backgrounds here if you don't have that available. I'm going to hit control enter and this is exactly what it looks like. So if you were creating this for say like a website, and this is the width you need, obviously this is not the width you're gonna need for like a smartphone or tablet. So let's come back over here and change the width to percentage. If you notice, it took the background and stretched it out, but the character is distorted. So let's come over here and work with this a little bit more. I'm gonna take this character and give it a preset. So we have these presets for a responsive layout here, and I'm gonna select this one, and this is called static background image. Prevent the background image and its container from scaling. I don't want the character size to adjust. I just want it to move. So what we're gonna do is hit apply, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the actual logo. So let's hit control enter. Now what I'm gonna do is adjust the screen size, and that's what I wanted. We have other presets, and as you see, it scales the size of just the logo as this character is moving along. You know, it depends on the project and what you want to do with your layout. Obviously, there's so many elements that can change here. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can actually do with the software now. You really should be thinking about having it mobile friendly because we all know that smartphones and tablets have taken over and we won't have to design for these products. Other than that, I notice a lot of people are asking me about cursors. This is something that has been in Edge before, but if you're not familiar with this, over here you can select auto and then you can change it to a different cursor. Especially when you're creating a button, I strongly suggest that you choose one, say like the pointer. A lot of times people are going to be navigating your website and people are familiar with this pointer. This is the first introduction to preview number 7. Great software. I'll put a link in the description where you can download this from Adobe. And if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.